Dig Dug, the tunnel digging pump action game from 1982. Now a classic among many others of its time, Dig Dug still stands out to me for its challenging gameplay and unique mechanics. So let's take a closer look at this pint-sized version of a classic retro game. How's it going guys? And welcome back to another JHR review. Today we're gonna to be looking at a Dig Dug My Arcade Micro Player. This is a miniature arcade cabinet and basically it holds the game Dig Dug, which is a classic retro game that I played when I was about, I'd say eight years old. But it's really cute and really interesting the way that they kind of compacted everything into this. It actually has a color screen and functional buttons. So without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox this and test it out. All right, let's go ahead and turn this on its side and then rotate it around the back. And then right here we can just pop off the back side of it. Comes off pretty easily. The first thing we're greeted with is a Dig Dug Microplayer Retro Arcade User Guide. And then the inside of the packaging. Looks as though this was holding it up so it's starting to fall out. Move that out of the way. And then we'll just slide the system out like this. There we go. Now we got this out of its package. It looks really nice. The arcade cabinet is really cute. The design and the plastic is surprisingly sturdy too. Um, I, I just, I can't get over how miniature this is. It's about the size of my hand, which is insane. But let's go ahead and zoom in here real quick. Move it to the side. As you can see, if we zoom in, we have a joystick, a pump button, reset, and start button. And you can actually unscrew this little joystick if you wanted to and use this as a traditional D-pad as you would on a console controller. But if we peel this off right here, I'd love to be able to modify this with a Raspberry Pi. It's the perfect form factor, and I think that it would look really, really nice being able to play a multitude of different games. And this is technically a 360 joystick, but I don't know if I could incorporate it good enough for maybe Nintendo 64 emulation. If you guys want to see me try something like that, let me know in the comments below. But outside of this really nice design, it comes with an actual color LCD, I think TFT display. And if we look at the back right here, there's actually a space not only for a battery slot, but also a micro USB. So if you don't want to power it with its, I believe, four AA batteries, all you have to do is plug in a micro USB and put it into your PC and or your phone charger and you're good to go to play this pretty much anywhere if you have a five volt input. All right. Browsing the side right here, we have some nice, interesting designs. Looks as though this is the character design if it wasn't within the 8-bit range. Very cute. I always thought that he was wearing goggles, though, for some reason. Or maybe he is, it's just not in this depiction. Moving to the front, this is actually the power button you press on in order to turn it on. And then on the side, it gives the same kind of artistic depiction of the video game characters. So let's go ahead and zoom back in on this. And I'm going to take a small break and grab a micro USB and start this game up. Get excited. All right, now I grab myself a nice long micro USB. I use this for my PS4 controller. I think it's about 10 feet. Now we can just move this over here to the back side and simply plug it in. I believe it's the upwards way like this. There we go. And now that we plugged it in, let's go ahead and rotate this. 
in this direction so we have a nice view on it and zoom in and focus and with a little bit of uh, press of a button right here we have a light which is really cool at the bottom but most importantly we have Dig Dug and this is really cool let's go ahead and dim the lights and play a little bit of the game all right now we have the game up we just need to press start and it starts up And that is the game. So basically, it is a game where you need to be very strategic after a few levels, and you need to make sure that you kill these guys with your pump, um, sometimes in a certain order, and it gets really strategic because you need to maybe drop a rock on three or four, four of them at a time. And uh, it gets very complicated. I don't think I've made it past maybe five or six levels. And I believe there's 12 levels in all. But this is a very, very nice miniature little system. And I really like the way that you can just press on the coin slot. And it just starts up. It is such a really unique idea. And normally I would say, yeah, you can emulate a game like this on your phone, but having this kind of premium feel to this nice arcade machine, uh, it's a very nice aesthetic, and you can definitely put this on your desk at work or maybe, uh, I don't know, bring it with you to school or something. This will be a very good talking point. What do you guys think? I think that this is uh, kind of uh, a novelty, but also something that's really unique and it has functionality so it's not a complete waste of space as if you just got something that's you know a paperweight but yeah a huge shout out to my patreons thank you guys so much for your support you guys are awesome if you enjoyed this video don't forget to comment rate and subscribe and as always i'll see you in the next video.